Welcome back! In this video, we'll go over how to set a goal that becomes a reality. Keeping in mind the terms from the last video, here we'll discuss the steps to help you reach your desired level of vegetarianism. When setting a realistic goal, make sure it's a smart one. The S in SMART stands for specific. When deciding the level of vegetarian you want to attain, think about the who, what, when, where, why, and how behind your goal. Our brains respond to details more than a general blanket statement, and we're more likely to follow through. Then we have the M for measurable. Be sure you have a way of measuring how on track you are. A method I find effective includes a calendar, marker, and some stickers. On the calendar, circle the date by which you want to see your goal accomplished. When you complete your goal, put a sticker within your circle. This allows you to visualize your success. Next up is A for attainable. Make sure your goal is achievable. Some ways of reaching your desired goal include building a support system and educating yourself about becoming a vegetarian. The R stands for realistic. Becoming vegan overnight can be a stretch if you frequently eat meat. However, transitioning from eating meat every day to embracing a meatless Monday is a great way to start. Lastly, the T in SMART is for timely. Add a time frame to your goal. Saying you want to eat a plant-based diet is a great start, but by what date do you want to see it becoming a reality? A specific time frame will increase your chances of reaching that end result. So what is an example of SMART goal setting? Let's take a look. Saying I want to be vegan is a goal, but it's not specific enough. Instead, try rephrasing it. I want to become an ovo-lacto vegetarian in two months by removing meat after three weeks, poultry after six weeks, and fish after eight weeks. This would be a strong, specific goal. And our last tip, always have your end goal in mind. But remember, you need stepping stones to get there. Setting smaller goals along the way is a great way to break down the intensity of the task. Be sure to also reward yourself for meeting these mini goals. And we don't mean with food. Enjoy a day at the spa or even a comedy show. Just be sure to recognize your good behavior. We look forward to you joining us next time when we discuss what you can do to increase nutrient absorption. Let's get our green groove on.